Hey guys, what's up? This is Val. Welcome back. So a while back, I asked a question in our Facebook group. Uh, so happy Sunday, guys. Uh, what kind of blog video would you like to see next? And I got a cool no, um, answer here regarding techniques of working with an atmosphere cube in your scene. So basically, uh, thank you, Michael, for that. And what I'm going to do is showcase you exactly how that works. I'm going to jump into Dash Studio. There we go. And what I'm seeing here is Stonemason's Streets of Steampunk, which is an awesome set. And basically, what we want to do here is throw in a cube that surrounds the scene. And using these surface settings, it's going to be set to an item that has volume. So I'm going to load one my, uh, my own here. Uh, I'm just go to light presets, green light, and uh, quick presets. I'm going to load in the dust atmosphere. This dust atmosphere is a huge cube basically which has a few settings that are very interesting one of which is the refraction color this is the color of the fog all right so you can control that here the next setting you can control is the sss amount which is subsurface scattering and as you can see it says thin walled off normally an item uh, or a surface is thin in the 3D world, right? It's, it's like a polygon or a few polygons, and it's it's thin. If you look behind it, it's, it's there's nothing there, right? So um, really, what we want to do is make this item not thin, so it's like it, it has volume. And when it has volume, and you play with subsurface scattering in conjunction with the refraction. You can get away with creating really cool effects. It's like a huge, you know, thick fog suddenly entering your scene. And it's pretty cool. It's, you know, not so intense up close range. It gets more and more intense um, over distance. And you can get it pretty thick. The drawback is that it becomes really thick. It blocks of you no know, lighting that enters the scene. So it's, in my opinion, I think it's a cool thing for a quick fog, but it's not the ideal thing. And if we take a look at it from the top view, you can see that it pretty much surrounds your scene, uh, which it should. You don't want to see the edges. And also from the left side, it uh, kind of... Whoops, there we go. It kind of you know goes a little bit underneath the ground and then show up up in the um, up in the air. All right. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually give you this for free. So right below this video, you got a link to download my own Dream My Dust Atmosphere. So it's you can just grab that, install it, um, and adjust these settings here to work with that. So the three settings are refraction color, which is the color. And then you got the SSS amount, all right? And the third setting is actually emission. You can click there and select any type of color you want. Um, increase the two side light, increase the luminous to a pretty high value. This will make the fog cast light onto your scene in conjunction with all the effects. You can start seeing that green effect on the pipes right now. I want to just add one more zero so it's going to be more intensified. I need more. And there we go. So now it starts to kind of become a, well, light scattering effect that just goes everywhere in your scene and adds that extra layer of, uh, you know, effect to, to, your, uh, to your renders. But really, frankly, I've develop a much more better way of using, you know, fog effects. And that's what you saw just when I opened this video briefly, which is my own uh, instant fog, which just got released, I think it was yesterday. 
which is just extremely extremely cool and you basically just have three versions very thick very quick and not so thick or just normal I'm gonna click on normal and switch the camera view and pretty much what you get is an instant looking fog that is really really thick and awesome looking just can feel it everywhere right it's it's not the same as you had with the atmosphere box uh, where it just kind of creeps on you this is real fog it just looks amazing so you have this instant fog camera and basically just as with the other camera you know items that are closer to the camera like this wall here on the right on the left sorry here these items would naturally be uh, less intense, right? For some reason I can't get a wall here. <laughs> but as you can see now, it's really, really cool. So things up close aren't getting so much fog, right? And as you can see, it interacts with the lighting. It doesn't break the lighting, it, it plays with it. So let me show you just, because we can go to, for instance, uh, hidden line. It's just a little bit quicker to work with. I wanna walk around and move back to more grandiose view here of the set, like so, and just turn it on. And it really interacts with lighting. It's, it's designed that way so you get a much more playful and vibrant effect using this just wait for it and what you also can do because the fog kind of has its own life and depth you don't really need to render the sky so you can pretty much turn that off you can just gonna get the fog there instead but as you now can see it really starts to play with the lights and you know it transforms uh, lights into beams and it just thick you know and it's just playful and if that's render for a few minutes you're gonna get a lot more detail than I'm just using right now but already you can see that it shifts you know how it works with your set it's not static Uh, so here in my data store, you can see that it's over here, and it's really breathtaking. These are actually, you know, renders that are, you know, made using this fog, and this is not a photoshopped effect. This is how it interacts with lighting. It's beautiful. It just, you know, streams and beams through everything. It just looks incredible, and it has this incredible depth to it, which you can adjust, of course, right? Um, back inside Jazz Studio, you got really cool adjustments. Let me just turn this off. You got here, uh, over here, you got in the parameter settings, um, you got fog, you know, height, center, start, scale, width, height, and, and Z scale, and so forth. So it's very easy to maneuver and play with. You simply, you know, uh, drag it around your scene, extend as much as you like. You can even shift it down so it works like a ground fog effect. So it's very, very easy to play with. And as you can see, it just looks incredible how it interacts with your set, with lighting, and it just glows, right? It's really, really cool. Alright guys, so, um, pretty much, um, now you have that uh, uh, the atmosphere box you got that for free below but I also include a link to this fog because I just think this is a lot better and you know I have to tell you all the options out there and I just believe this is the better one so guys thank you so much for watching I appreciate you uh, you know anything you need ask in our Facebook group let me know what you need um, check out the link below the free atmo you know um box you can download that and use it instantly and also check this instant fog and see how you can you know enhance your renders instantly today that's all for me have fun guys and i'll see you soon again